Hey everyone, this is Jeff Grace from Swimming Specific Yoga. Don't forget to check our website and sign up for our newsletter so you can get informed of the new and different content that we're putting out there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So what I'm going to take you through in this video is just a short sequence that is an amazing way to open up through the upper body. We're going to really lengthen through the sides of the body open up through the chest and shoulders through developing some strength in the back of the body and also developing some mobility in your thoracic spine. Now, if you like this video, it would be amazing if you gave us a thumbs up below. And if you know anyone else who would like this video or benefit from the video, please share it with them. We're going to start this sequence sitting down. So you're going to come onto your seat. Now, I'm going to do this from a cross-legged position. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can do this same sequence on your knees. Now, if you're finding it, if you're comfortable in a cross-legged position, but you're finding it hard to have a little bit more length in the spine, you can always bring a smaller cushion or even a folded up towel under your sit bones to where you feel a tilt forward in the pelvis, which should make the lengthening of the spine a little bit easier. So what we're going to do to start with is bring the hands to either side of your seat. You're going to press down into the ground and feel the length coming from tailbone to the crown of the head. Here, make sure the collarbones are wide and the neck is long, the ears over the shoulders. Bring your hands right in front of your sternum, palms together. Interlace your fingers. Now in this variation of this next pose where you extend the arms, keep the spine long. On your exhale, press the palms away. Lengthen the arms, feel the shoulder blades come away from the spine, but once again, don't round the spine, keeping it long. Inhale, reach the palms towards the sky, really lengthen up. Feel that stretch through the sides of the body here. Keeping chin off chest, shoulders square, feeling the neck long, reach up again for another two breaths. Really make sure you're breathing through the nose and feeling those full breaths. The exhale, bring hands back behind the head. Press your head into your hands, your hands into your head. I'm going to shift here to show you what should happen with the neck. Pressing, you should feel the neck lengthen, the chin tuck a little and then draw in. Then on your exhale, draw your shoulder blades towards your spine. Feel the elbows come away from each other and open through the front of the body. Then on your inhale, lengthen the arms up, palms towards the sky. Keeping that length, just release the fingers. Right hand comes down and then reach up again with the left. Keeping the left side of your seat grounded. Exhale, reach over to the right side. Make sure that palm is pointed towards the right side, reaching through the fingertips, and once again, keeping the neck long. Then inhale, come back to center, left hand comes down, right arm comes up, reach up, reach up, reach up, and then exhale, reach over to the left. But once again, feel the right side of your seat grounded, really feeling that length from the hip all the way through to the fingertips. Then inhale, come back to center. Once again, you're going to have your hand right at your seat. Press down, so at the right side of your seat this time. Left hand to your right thigh. Now here, don't just come into your twist. Think about staying strong through the lower part of your spine, but twisting through the mid spine. Roll your right shoulder back feeling the shoulder blade come towards your spine. Then see if you can do that same thing with the left shoulder blade so you stay open through the front of the body and the exhale, look over that right shoulder and feel some mobility through the mid spine. Then inhale, come back through center, right hand, left thigh, left hand back behind you. Press down, lengthen up, Roll your left shoulder back, shoulder blade towards spine, right shoulder blade towards spine. Look over the left shoulder and twist through the mid spine. Next, inhale, come back to center, and then here, keeping that spine long, bring your left wrist to your right hip. Hold on to that wrist with your right hand. Make sure the collarbones are wide, neck is long. And then exhale, drop right ear to right shoulder so you feel that length coming through the traps. 
stretching through the neck. Then inhale, come back to center, switch your grip, switch your wrists, lengthen up, and then exhale, drop left ear to left shoulder. Feel that length coming through the traps, through the neck on the right side. Then inhale, bring the head back to center, just release that grip. And that is a great sequence to really open up through a lot of the upper body. Okay, this is something that would be important for a lot of swimmers to really implement, a lot of triathletes to really implement because it's really hitting a lot of those areas that get tight, but also where you need mobility to be able to perform and also stay healthy, staying away from injury. So opening through the front of the body, strengthening the upper back, creating that mobility in the thoracic spine, stretching through the sides of the body and also causing or creating some release, some stretch and relaxation through the traps. Remember, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up below. And if you know anyone who would benefit from this video, please share it with them. If you want more information on how yoga can help you improve your performance and your wellness, the link to our newsletter is below. It'd be awesome to have you join our community.